I've got a remedy here that is sold by Eckert Drugs and many other uh, pharmacies across the country. Safe care, natural medicine. Natural is a good word, isn't it? Natural means it's okay. Well, bird poo is natural too. <laughs> and so are rocks. And I don't eat bird poo and I don't eat rocks, no matter how good they are for me. But they're natural, so it's got to be okay. It says right here, uh, breakthrough medicine, no side effects. It doesn't mention no other effects either. <laughs> Let's look at the ingredients here. Oop, active ingredients listed in order of the, 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 uh, the concentration, you follow, so the first one to the first one. This is the main ingredient, arsenicum album, in brackets, arsenious acid. Not to be confused with Arsenio Hall, of course. <laughs> arsenious acid, hey, it's a deadly poison. What are the concentrations? Right here. Uh, 100x. Oh, we're okay. <laughs> Avogadro be damned. It's not in there. Not at all. In a pure water base, it says, okay. Wonderful. 100x. So I guess I'm pretty safe on that, but uh, isn't that incredible? There's arsenic in this stuff, and you can't find it. Well, I'm a great one for calling experts, you see, so I called Bob Park, Robert Park of the American Physical Society, and I said, Bob, um, here's another problem that I'll give you this one. How many of these pills would I have to ingest in order to make sure that I had at least one molecule of arsenious acid? He did the calculation, called me back, and said, okay, are you ready? I said, I'm ready. He said, you would have to eat. Now, this is quantities of pills. They're little tiny round pills the size of map pen heads in here of lactic acid, which tastes like chalk. I don't recommend it. It really tastes, I, I, as a matter of fact, for a congressional party, I ate the sleeping tablets. I ate 30 times a fatal dose of homeopathic sleeping tablets in front of a congressional committee a couple of years back in Washington, and I lived to tell the tale. Didn't even feel dopey at all, not even the least nappy. I stayed up practically all that night ate the whole thing right in front of them, but they, it tastes like chalk. Lactic acid, very nasty stuff. Okay, he said you would have to eat 16 swimming pools full of pills. <laughs> Picture that. <laughs> I got a swimming pool in front of me filled with pills, right? 15 other ones lined up down here. All right, time for the experiment, Mr. Andy. You ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Boom. And we go. Drink water? Yeah. I eat up the whole damn swimming pool full of pills. And at the end of it, they say, hold on now. You feel sleepy? Mm, nope. Next pill? Next, next pool? You go on to the next pool. That was sleeping tablets. This is as a cold and flu relief with no ingredients in it. It's worthless. It costs, on an average, 70% more than things that actually do work and have actually been tested to work. And where does it get its reputation? It gets its reputation because people say that it works. How the hell do they know? When you take a pill, if you hadn't taken the pill, would you feel better? Oh, there are some things, like you've heard of penicillin? Oh, boo, hiss. That's regular medicine. We wouldn't want to have anything to do with that. Yeah, that, that might save my life. No, I'd rather take essence of penicillin. <laughs> One scrap of bread mold spread over a whole acre lot or something, and I'll lick the whole place dry or whatever. <laughs> it is just so appallingly silly and wrong and stupid, but the reason that they can sell this and make these claims is quite interesting, legally speaking. They were here before the FDA. It's grandfathered in. They can make any claims they want for homeopathic compounds. Any claims. Now, this comes to the rub that they don't like very much. The James Randi Educational Foundation that I represent has a million dollars in a special account with Goldman Sachs. We're not wealthy, not at all. <laughs> we struggle from month to month to stay in business. However, that million dollars is in a special investment account with Goldman Sachs for one purpose only. It was given to us by a very wealthy gentleman, obviously, and he gave it to us because he wanted our 
bark to have some bite to it. We will give that $1 million in negotiable bonds to any persons or persons who can provide evidence of any paranormal, occult, or supernatural event of any kind under proper observing conditions. It's that simple. Now, if you folks left here today, it's not likely that you're going to encounter the gentleman outside, but suppose there were a fellow outside with a violin in one hand and a bow in the other and hat on the ground with some coins in it. You would assume this guy plays tunes on the fiddle and he will throw coins in the hat. You step up to him and you say, uh, good evening, sir. Uh, <coughs> would you like to make a million dollars? Sure. This fellow in here, James Randy, he says that he will give you a million dollars for doing what you do every day under proper observing conditions. You'll give me a million dollars for it? Yeah. Do you play him a tune on your fiddle? No. What? No. Is this guy intellectually challenged? I believe he would be. All I'm saying to the psychic is do what you do every day once for me, and I will give you one million dollars in negotiable bonds. Where are they? They should be knocking on that door right now. They should be lined up at the gate getting passes running around trying desperately to get to James Randi before someone else wins the prize. 